Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library and welcome to vectors in our tutorials. In this first tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to create vectors using functions and different operators. Vectors are one dimensional object. They consist of elements which are always of the same type, either numeric, string or logical. And they can be created in many different ways. The first and foremost um, way of creating a vector is to use C function, which is a concatenate function. So let's create a vector A. And uh, let's see the vector. So you can see A is a numeric vector. And we can use a length function uh, to see what are, what are the number of elements present in any vector. So the length of A is 7 here. We can also create a character vector using uh, um, the same C function. So let's create a vector B, which is a character or a string vector. And the length of B is 5. And we can also create a logical vector. So let's create a logical vector C. Uh, okay. Now what would happen uh, if we try to combine uh, two vectors of different type? For example, A is a numeric vector and B is a character vector here. So let's see uh, what would happen. Okay, so a new vector is created. And since A, ha a is a numeric type and B is a, uh, a string type, the new vector is uh, con the new vector is formed with uh, all the number have been converted to strings. So it basically um, created a vector with uh, same type of uh, uh, same type of elements. Uh, let, uh, we can create an empty vector using um, empty C function. Let's create the empty vector. And the empty vectors uh, also can be created using uh, uh, the null value, uh, giving a null value to a vector. OK. Uh, now let's talk about creating vectors using different sequences. The first one is REP function. Uh, the REP function repeats its first argument by number of times given by the second argument. So it has this general form. So let's create a vector D with REP function. So you can see here the seven, the first argument seven is repeated five times. And let's create another uh, string vector using uh, the REP function. And here uh, the string A is repeated three times. We can even repeat a vector as a whole using the REP function. So let's see that. So you can see here uh, the vector uh, 10, 20, 30 uh, is repeated five times. So 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30, it goes on for five times. Now, uh, if you want to repeat each element of a vector uh, using REP function, then you can give an option each and specify the number of times you want to repeat um, the elements. Uh, so for this case, I want to repeat each element five times. So I use uh, I use e, each equals to five. And you can see here, each elements are repeated uh, separately five times. And again, uh, the length of the length of G is 15 uh, using the length function. Uh, another sequence is a colon operator. Uh, we can use a colon operator and it has this general form and colon M with both inclusive. So this H will give us a vector from 1 to 10, both, uh, both inclusive. Okay, so 1 to 10. Uh, we can reverse the order, giving 10 first and then one, all right. And we can uh, concatenate more elements or we can add more elements to a vector uh, using uh, the same C function. So if you want to add uh, our element 15 to your first vector H uh, then uh, and then create a new vector, 
then just use the C function. So we can see our new edge is now uh, 1 to 10 plus 15. So 15 is added uh, to the previous edge vector. We can also use a sequence function uh, to create a vector. Uh, the sequence function has this form. So um, uh, the first argument is the starting point. And the second argument is the end point for the number and by is the steps. Uh, through which you want to uh, generate the numbers. So let's create a, a vector uh, using sequence function uh, starting from 2 and ending to 20 with steps of 3. Okay, so uh, these are uh, these are the elements of that vector j. Uh, and uh, they are equally spaced with steps of 3. Uh, and if you don't want to specify your step, rather want to get the number of elements, then you can use the option length uh, for that purpose. So in this case, uh, uh, we are creating uh, 15 uh, elements in a vector k uh, from minus 10 to 100. So let's see that vector k. Okay, so we have 15 vectors. 15 elements uh, in that factor starting from minus 10 and ending to 100. We can also use uh, random number generator functions uh, which are also called RNG functions and uh, we can use sample function for creating discrete random number and the function has this form so it takes a sample from this population so this is the number of sample and uh, this is the third argument uh, replace. If you do not specify replace, then you will not get a repetition of the number. Uh, but if you specify replace equals to true, then you can expect um, uh, some repeated number uh, in the vector. So let's create a vector L using sample function. Uh, so vector uh, L is created here. and. Um, uh, there are, you can see there are some repeated numbers 33 uh, 33 uh, because uh, we kept um, our argument replace uh, to be true and uh, we can also create a um, vector using rnum uh, function for continuous random numbers As this function has this form uh, the total number no random numbers you want to generate in the mean and the standard deviation. So let's create a vector m uh, uh, which creates uh, 15, 50 random numbers of mean 20 and standard deviation 5 using our norm function. Okay, so we have we have our vector m here. And if you do not specify uh, the mean and standard deviation and just specify uh, the number of random continuous numbers uh, uh, that you want to create uh, then uh, in this case uh, the the vector or the uh, random numbers takes uh, mean 0 and standard deviation 1 by default so let's create 50 uh, continuous random numbers with mean 0 and standard deviation 1 okay so these these are the numbers and um, uh, this is the, the new vector and created from this number. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Um, um, I hope to see you guys in uh, next tutorial.